you've got any charcoal still, you've got to start this thing up. Yeah. And I'll, if we got a brush and some black ink, it'd be great for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like the every day. Welcome to Love London um, and to the first of our gatherings of 2012, which is very exciting. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, we've got a, an excellent one to start off with. We've um, brought you here to L13 and we have on display here the Art Hate Archives, which is an amazing group of work and works that in some ways at first glance baffles and confuses, but ultimately that is one of the objectives, I think. I'm sure Billy will tell me otherwise if I'm... <laughs> So I'm happy if you're stupid. Nothing bad is all straightforward. <laughs> and it's, it's slightly unclear as to who exactly is behind it. Um, but there are a group of artists who kind of claim some sort of ownership of the archive. But the archive in itself exists without explanation. So I'm going to be as vague as I think the Art Hate Archive would like me to be. Um, but I think really the main aim of this evening is to introduce you to an amazing man, Billy Childish, who is working furiously here on some woodcut prints, which oh, I think... In a really relaxed going... manner, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to, it would be more interesting to do a piece of work, because, you know, artists are timid. So we thought we'd do some untimid, like make, make, allow something to go wrong in front of people. <laughs> I used to sometimes teach uh, lecture at, um, I remember lecturing at the Royal College on their MA about 10 years ago and this went quite well for a couple of times <laughs> <laughs> and then in one lecture I decided to do a painting in front of the students and there was one young lady there who um, complained and said that it was mac, 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 machismo, is that the word? Yeah. to paint pictures in front of people so I had a complaint so I didn't go and teach her anymore I don't use much of my uh, drawing mind in my talking mind, so I'm usually all right. I mean, I don't. I usually I do make paintings with two or three people chatting to me. I must admit, I've not done anything with uh, so many, apart from when I was at the Royal College. <laughs> 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 but I was sort of like saying to look, as you, you got all these tutors in, and they sort of like they tell you everything, and you know, a lot of you aren't painting and don't do any drawing, and you're in a, on a fine art course. So I thought I'd do a painting paint in front of you to show you that it's easy and it doesn't matter if it goes wrong. It's not a big deal. Because a lot of people don't do stuff because they're worried. You know, want to be um, seen in a good light. Because you're still kind of going strong on that, would it be confusing to kind of bring in some art hate No, you can do art hate. No, because it doesn't doing really that. bother me. Yeah. We have one art hate week, that's it. And then we do national, no, national, national art hate week. Yeah, and it? I said, well, it's one week in the year. And then we thought, oh, we'll go easy on They can have one World Art Hate Day. And everybody can p p take a bit of time out of their calendar to hate art for one day. And then, um, and th but then uh, th th everyone was so crying about it, we decided to have a thousand year art hate. <laughs> <laughs> and that was at Tate? No, 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 it's nothing. No, it's, 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 is this that thousand, isn't it, the, the Tate? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, it's just a whole. coincidence. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, I mean, Tate's well, a good no. place to hate art. Yeah. Yeah. Because, and, and people said to us, well, how do you know if the art hate's working or not? So, well, the galleries were full that day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they're doing something, you know. We think we've there's more people in there than usual yeah. because it's a successful art hate day. Yeah, mm -hmm. so everybody's in there hating it. There's quite a bit of reference to Tate. Yeah. Well, can I just ask, do, 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 but do, genuinely, do you hate Tate or do you not hate Tate? Or what are your feelings about Tate? Well, I personally like despise the place, but not for any of the reason you imagine. I think it's a really, you know, You've got the best bits, of I, I, if they put the things back in the turban or turban, or turban, <laughs> it'll probably look better. And then you've got pokey little rooms where they do the galleries, they're overpriced, there's too many people in there if you go to a show. I think it's really, really bad to popularise art and get people going along to the exhibitions, cluttering the place up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
We had all these actually screen print. These are the, we thought we'd do a cover of a book, because so, everybody really wants a cover of a book on their walls. So we thought, oh, it'd be brilliant to do some screen prints of the book, it's a tiny little book, which is one there, Billy, underneath there. That's going to look all right. So, but then yeah, nobody wanted them. I don't know what, if that's the, um, you might have something going on. Yeah, no, I think, it, yeah, I think that's the instrument we need to yeah. put some in there. Is that, is that just, is that not, not yeah. on the It's just, it's just trying to work out what.